In this question, we are asked to find the minimum acceleration felt by passengers of a car while they travel the traffic circle. At the end of the video, I will explain how to find the maximum acceleration felt as well. We know we have to find the radius of curvature, and to do that, we need to use the formula for finding it. The formula is this. To make it easier, let's do it step by step. The first thing we need to do is actually take the derivative of this equation given to us with respect to x. Let's start there. So we can multiply both sides by the denominator to write it like this, then differentiate with respect to x. Divide everything by 2. Now we need to take the derivative again. Let's square everything inside the bracket. If you are unfamiliar with implicit differentiation, then the key here is to realize that we can take out x squared over 60 squared, which will allow us to equate that to our original equation. Let me show you. So all I did was separate the multiplication terms inside the bracket. Now look at what we have. We have x squared over 60 squared. And look at our original equation. If we isolate for that term in the original equation, we can write it as 1 minus y squared over 40 squared. We can now substitute that in. Now let's multiply everything out to get rid of the brackets. Now we can multiply both sides by 1 over y. So that becomes our second derivative. We can finally find the radius of curvature using this equation. We know all the pieces since we found them before, so let's just plug them in. Remember that we can write dy over dx like this too. Now looking at the image given to us, we see that when x equals 0, y equals 40 meters. Because the least amount of acceleration is felt when the radius is largest. Making x equals 0 in the equation and using 40 meters for y gives us rho is equal to 90 meters. The acceleration can be found using this equation. Remember that 60 kilometers per hour is 16.67 meters per second. Let's substitute those values in. And that's our answer. Since this question is asking for the minimum acceleration felt, rho is 60 squared over 40. If it was asking for the maximum, it will be 40 squared over 60. When we need to find the maximum acceleration felt, then the radius of curvature must be the smallest, meaning we need rho to be equal to b squared over a. If the minimum acceleration is required, then rho is a squared over b. The bigger the curve, the less acceleration you feel. Whereas if it's a very tight turn, then you feel more acceleration. If the question asks for the maximum, then it's the following answer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please comment below.